Magnolia weathered an early onslaught by Barangay Ginebro San Miguel behind its stingy defense and import Romeo Travis's determined effort to prevail, 106-98, last night and draw first blood in their best of five PBA Governor's Cup semifinal series at the Eners Center. The hot shots turned things around after trailing 39-31 at the end of the first quarter with Travis and Paul Lee leading the charge before the two conspired anew to prevent the Kings from completing their comeback from a 14-point deficit to take the series opener in front of a big crowd in the city. Travis set a new PBA career-high 37 points with 16 rebounds, while Lee added 27 points for Magnolia. The Hotshots aim for a commanding 2-0 lead tomorrow night at the Smart Araneta Coliseum. The win also snapped Magnolia's seven-game skid against Ginebra, winning for the first time since last semi-final face-off in the 2017 Philippine Cup. We need to send a message that we can play and why we're here in the semis, said Magnolia coach Tito Victolero. But it's only game one, and it would mean nothing if we can't win three games in this series. Dot Justin Brownlee fired 37 points for Ginebra, making his first seven shots on his to 20 in the opening canto. But the resident import went 5 of 21 the rest of the way with Magnolia throwing everything it can to neutralize him. J. Aguilar and Latunorio added 18 and 13 points for the Kings. Behind Brownlee, Ginebra raced to a 39 31 lead in the first, eventually stretching its advantage to 41 33 on a Kevin Ferrer layup early in the second. But the hot shots responded by scoring 14 in a row to take the lead the rest of the way. Travis waxed hot after halftime as Magnolia built its largest lead at 79-65 in the third quarter. Ginebra slowly chapped away at the Magnolia lead, getting two within two, 95-93, on Aguilar's layup with under four minutes remaining in the fourth. The hot shots, however, reeled off eight straight points, with Lee scoring the last four to end the competitive phase of the contest. Greg Slaughter and Sol Mercado, who had strong performances since their return from injuries, combined for only 10 points for Ginebra in the defeat.